The leaves are the stomach and lungs of the tree. Their broad blades are a device to catch the sunlight which is needed in the process of digesting the food of the tree. The leaves are arranged on the twigs in such a way as to catch the most sunlight. The leaves take up the carbonic acid gas from the air, decompose it under the influence of light, and combine it with the minerals and water brought up by the roots from the soil. The resulting chemical combinations are the sugars and starches used, by the Cambrian layer, in building up the body of the tree. A green pigment, chlorophyll, in the leaf is the medium by which, with the aid of the sunlight, the sugars are manufactured. The chlorophyll gives the leaf its green color, and this explains why a tree pales when it is in a dying condition or when its life processes are interfered with. The other colors of the leaf, the reds, browns, and yellows of the fall or spring, are due to other pigments. These are angular crystals of different hues, which at certain times of the year become more conspicuous than at others, a phenomenon which explains the variation in the color of the leaves during the different seasons. It is evident that a tree is greatly dependent upon its leaves for the manufacture of food, and one can, therefore, readily see why it is important to prevent destruction of the leaves by insects or through over-trimming. <laughs>